What's up guys, this is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. He is I and I am he. Just taking some time to tell you exactly what's on my mind. Thank you for joining me once again, my friends. I hope all is well with you. Now guys, I wanna start off the video by thanking all of you for your support. I really do appreciate you. Uh, people have been hitting me up as far as my Cash App. I've been leaving that in the pinned comment of all of my videos. You know, YouTube is not helping me out at all. And I've had a lot of you tell me about it over the years. You know, I don't talk about it a lot because you know, I don't wanna be one of those guys who's always crying about the algorithm and all that stuff but um uh i'm not gonna get paid off these videos if my uh viewers you know don't help out and i really would love to upgrade what i have going on here so uh for everyone who has given everyone who has hit that super thanks thank you very much from the bottom of my heart man i, I really do appreciate that um and uh everyone who shares the videos as well you know i appreciate that too I'm just glad you're here. Now guys, uh, I wanna start this video off by saying, I told you so, because nobody else pointed this out uh, before me, you know, back in December. I did this when Netflix made the announcement that they were gonna be rebooting Good Times and the Evans family after four generations was still gonna be stuck in the ghetto. I was like, no fucking way, man. You know, so I tried to ring the bell about this, but here we are, something like five months later, and uh, they have dropped the first trailer for the Good Times reboot. This is going to be on Netflix, uh, and it's going to be coming out on April 12th. I'm not going to do a reaction to this thing. What I want you to do is check it out for yourself. I am going to leave this in the pinned comment below also. And what I want you to do is go over there, look at the video, and... First of all, I want you to tell me what you think, okay? And then, I want you to bomb this thing to hell, man. You know what I mean? I want thumbs down, like, from here to freaking Pluto, you know? Because, it, it, yo, this show, it violates on so many different levels, man. You got to see this to believe it. It's animated, and I think what they were doing, I think they were going for some mixture of the boondocks, babies, kids, family guy. I don't know, but they fail on, like, every level, you know? So, I want to start this off here by reading Netflix's description of this Good Time show, okay? So, here's what Netflix has to say about what they're giving to the black community, okay? Listen up. It says here, an animated reboot of the Norman Lear series finds the latest generation of the Evans family, cab driver Reggie and his wife, the ever aspirational Beverly, scratching and surviving in one of the last remaining housing projects in Chicago, along with their teenage artist son Junior, activist daughter Gray, and drug dealing infant son Dalvin. Drug dealing infant son Dalvin. How evil is this, guys? They have a black infant dealing drugs in the projects, guys. This, this, listen, man, this is what I've been talking about all this time when I was saying, why does Hollywood seem determined to keep black people in one place? This is 2024. This is supposed to be about progression, being productive, positivity, and you come up with, in 2024, a drug-dealing infant black baby. Is this supposed to be the poster child for abortion? Because this is a useless life. You're an infant. You were born dealing drugs. Understand what they're putting out there, guys. Holy shit. All right. Um, it turns out the more things change, the more things stay the same. And keeping your head above water in a system with his knee on your neck is as challenging as ever. Woo! Guys. Listen to that sentence, okay? It turns out the more things change, okay? We like to think that things have changed in the black community. You like to think that things have changed for the better. The more things change, the more they stay the same. And keeping your head above water in a system with his knee on your neck is as challenging as ever. With its knee on your neck. Conjuring up images of George Floyd. Anyone? You see what these people are doing, right? See, listen, let me just break something down to you. For, for those of us, for our, our non-black 
brothers and sisters out here, all right? I know a lot of you tend to be very judgmental, right? I see it on Twitter day in and day out. People talking about how black people are useless and all of this stuff. Did it ever occur to you that through our um, entertainment system, you see the, uh, the uh, music that they serve to us, the murder music. You see the images that they give us on TV, like what you're getting right here. Do you understand that if you keep telling people over and over and over that they're oppressed, if you keep telling them over and over and over that you're a born drug dealer, all right, that you keep telling them that you ain't shit, you just keep telling them this over and over and over again, sooner or later, they're going to believe you and they're going to act accordingly. This is a self-fulfilling prophecy. This is where it comes from. This system is fucking evil, okay? We're good at pointing out that they are going to war on the images of white men, right? We talk about that in this fandom right here, right? It's like white men are having a problem right now, right? White man bad, white man bad. But you have to see, all right, what's going on with other people as well. What's going on with black people, the way we're put out there. You guys know at this point, I don't even like calling us black. I want us to be human beings. We're, we we got beautiful complexions. We love who we are. If you're white, you should love who you are. If you're Spanish, you should love who you are. If you're Asian, if you're Indian, if you're anything, you should love the way that you were created. All right? But today, to call yourself black the way that they have us today, it's problematic to say the least, guys, all right? You can define it how you want to, but the larger society, this is what they think of us. The only thing tougher than life is love, but in this family, there's more than enough to go around. There's more than enough love to go around. I saw the trailer where the guy talks about how he should have used a condom so he wouldn't have those kids, all right? That doesn't sound like it's, it's a lot of love to go around to me. This is not the kind of joke you would have heard in the original Good Times. We knew that they loved each other in the original Good Times, even when it was tough love. But nobody wished uh, their kids not to be there. It didn't happen that way. All right. So going on, it says here, apparently the late great Norman Lear blessed this series and remains credited as an executive producer. Uh... Norman Lear was 101 years old when he died. I think that was last year. He barely knew who he was. He barely knew what was going on. So he did not. Norman Lear at 101 years old was not the same Norman Lear who created All in the Family, who created Sanford and Son, who created Good Times, who created The Jeffersons, who created Maud. All of those classic TV shows. That was not this Norman Lear. All right. See, this is the problem. This is why you have uh, George Lucas losing control of his creation. This is why you had Gene Roddenberry and uh, Stan Lee, you know, people like that, right? You get to be to a certain age and you can no longer hold on to what you created, your baby. All right, so anyway, um, that's what is on the uh, Netflix uh, page as far as what this show is. But let me get into what is in the uh, comment section underneath this video for uh, the trailer. You guys will see it. OK, and uh, it says here, these are some of the comments. All right. These are just the first few comments by far, uh, not only the biggest insult to the original 70s TV show, but it has to be the biggest insult to black entertainment at large. It completely plays into stereotypes of us, something the original 70s good times made sure to avoid doing. This is this is just I have to. What does it say? I have I have no words for this nonsense. Now, I'm going to just scroll down. Right. Uh, having no context, I saw the title and thumbnail and said, nah, this ain't it. Watched the trailer and thought, nah, this ain't it. This is buffoonery. This generation has a tendency of ruining classics and failing to create new classics on their own. Uh, let's see, scroll down a little bit more. This is turning me into Uncle Ruckus. <laughs> All right, uh, let me see. I'm confused. This is a minstrel show. Uh, as a black person who loves animation, who wants to see new ideas come to life, this burns my eyes. Stereotypes can be funny if written well, but take this black Twitter and make a cartoon. Uh, let's see. How many stereotypes? I wonder if it's Seth's idea to add a talking baby. Uh, I agree. This more than likely will ruin the image of a classic black TV show that I love. Some things are just meant to be left alone. Who approved this shit? Uh... I don't think anyone involved in this has ever seen the original. 
Let's see. Uh, Step and fetch it, Curry. You have some explaining to do with this one. Of course, Steph Curry is one of the executive producers on this. All right, so you can see, guys. Uh, thankfully, most people are not going for this. Most people are hating this. And what I hate about it is the way it makes us feel as a people to see what it is that's supposed to be representing us. Netflix goes out all over the world. People are judging us by what they see unfairly, unfortunately, but they do. They judge us by what they see through our pop culture. So we have a hip hop industry that's showing us doing nothing, being absolutely worthless, no artistic integrity whatsoever. And then you have shows like this, you know, shows that, continuously want to put us in the projects, continuously keeping us uh, vulgar and profane like that teacher that I talked about on the other video. We have no positive influences that are prevalent. I'm not saying that they're not out there. I'm just saying the ones that get uh, mass distribution. Why is that? Why is it that the worst of us, the worst uh, images of us have no problem being put out there for everyone to see? You know, but the positive stuff, oh, you got to look for it. You just got to look for it. That's why it's so important what you see here on YouTube. And those of us who are uh, talking, we have an awesome responsibility to represent ourselves the right way. None of us are perfect. But this, this is evil, guys. This is evil. And um, like I said, I just want you guys to go take a look at it for yourself. I'm going to leave the link in the pinned comment below so you can check it out. Um... You never know. If you think that what you're seeing is funny, by all means, get in the comment section and let me know what you think. You think I'm missing the point in all of these people that I just read? You think they're missing the point? Then enlighten us. How is this something that's going to uplift people? How is this something that's going to make people feel good about themselves? You know, they wonder. They wonder why depression rates are what they are. Self-harm rates are what they are. Everybody has the right to feel good about themselves. But it's so hard to do that these days because of things like this. Netflix, this is wrong. Nobody asked for this. Nobody is going to appreciate this. You see the people have spoken. Don't do this. This is supposed to be coming out on April 12th. This is some garbage. This is some bullshit and we reject it. Let there be no misunderstandings about that. But anyway, guys, that's how I see it. Like I said, and, and all of these people in the comment section, maybe you see it differently. Go check it out. Let me know. As always, guys, you can like, you can share, you can subscribe. Thank you once again for your support. There's the super thanks. There's the cash app. Pin comment below. I will catch you guys on the next one. This is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. Rock on.